Hi, since I was waiting at the airport, I thought I would show you how I use my Coach Academy day bag for my trip. For the bag compartment, I use it to keep my iPad Pro 12.9. It's a good size compartment. On the front, it has a zip pocket. You could put your boarding pass. For me, I just keep my two floors inside. <laughs> I'm obsessed with keeping food off my teeth. There's a lot of space for the middle compartment. And I like that it has double zipper pull. So you can open on each side, either side, and it's very convenient. Inside the bag, I have this travel pillow that I just got at the airport. And then I have this Nintendo Switch case and my Sony headphone. These were just a few basic things I needed during my flight and the water bottle, of course. In addition to this bag, I also carry a pet animal backpack. This one, I keep it under the seat. Although it has really big space, but I would not recommend you pack it full. For example, I could pack a lot more, but it, it did get heavy when I pack all the stuff inside. For the front compartment, I have this blue microfiber cloth to clean my glasses. And then I have the battery pack to charge my iPhone. And then I have a lot of these wipes and masks. Also, the key for my new house. And here is how it fit under the seat. On the other flight, the seat was a little lower. I had to tilt it to the side a little, but it did fit under the seat, so. After coming back from my trip, I did notice a problem with this bag. Not sure this was a design flaw or it was a de defective piece, but as you can see, on the back side, the zipper got stuck and caught on the fabric that's covering the piping. It did get kind of bad. As you can see, it did pull out the fabric and you see these fluffy bits that hanging here as a result of the zippers brushing against it. Although I could just return it or have them repair, but I decided to be crafty and repair this myself. To do it, I ordered some fabric glue from Amazon. This is the one that I use. It's uh, in white color and it's supposed to dry clear, but we, we shall see. Open up the glue pack. This is how it came with the glue and a flimsy folded rulers and this stick to apply the glue. I'm not sure I would need that ruler to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous with how this would go, but we shall see. First, I've, I found my, my craft scissors to trim off this extra fa fluffy fabric that, or fibers that's being pulled out. So hopefully I didn't cause extra damage. I was pretty careful trimming off it though. First, I need to get the glue on this white stick first instead of directly apply it on my back. And yep, I forgot to remove the seal inside the glue so nothing was coming out. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's try again. Still a little bit challenging to get the glue out, to squeeze the glue out. I don't want to have an accident that squeezed the glue all over my back, so I was being careful. I slowly applied the glue on the piping. I had to be very careful because the glue was kind of watery. And as you can see here, it has this white color. On the packaging, it said that it will dry clear but i'm not sure but we will see it seems to just absorb into the piping fabric the reason i want to use the glue is because i want to keep the the whole thing sealed so that 
if the zippers brush against it again, it's not going to pull out any fibers or fabric. After a couple minutes, I apply another layer. I really want to just seal off the damage and hopefully I don't have to do it again. Also, when I apply the glue, I try to put some pressure on it to make sure all the fabric being pushed in a little bit so that they don't stick out so much and get caught on the zippers again. Now, I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours. This is after two days and I could still see some white residues, but it's not too bad. It's, it feels a little crusty there, but all the fabric is sealed off and I don't think the zipper will pull anything out this time. I also noticed to avoid for the zipper to caught on the piping, when I zip and unzip it, I try to add a little pressure, pull it away from the back a little bit, and that seemed to have a smoother unzip process.